What's up, y'all? As promised, um, I actually remembered to do a part two of human nature. My short-term and long-term memory is not so good all the time. So anyways, I did a lesson that kind of just covered the more simplistic versions of just the, the G and A, um, mostly human nature. Um, just kind of revolves around uh, a few chords and then some nice little tasty little fills that kind of are the signature of the song. So this time I'm going to try to cover the way that um, I'm playing the intro, which I think is the same shit that's playing over that, uh, I don't know, that whale <laughs> movie. Uh, it's Willie. Something Willy? Free Willy? Is that it? Anyways, there's a little intro part of it. Uh, I don't know if these are the right chords. And I don't know how accurate it is. I just know that it sounds all right with the rest of the song. So... So, what chords are those, you may ask? And I will say, F sharp. Pretty much a D chord, except I'm not playing the high E. Top part of a D. Bass note of the F sharp. To be honest, I don't know what the hell I'm doing with the finger picking. It's some Travis picking-esque kind of thing. I'll try to play it slow. But, you know, do it your own way, right? You know? But I'll try anyways if you want to see what the hell I'm doing. So from that chord, you go to an A. I'm hammering on that uh, B string of the A chord. So, okay, to the A, to an F, I think I'm playing the F bass note up here, but I don't know, maybe I'm not. I will have to actually watch or see what the hell I'm doing, but I think the point is that it's supposed to be this kind of F shit, into a... I guess this is basically a G slash B playing the B note, A string, second fret. Well, isn't that actually a D? That's a D note. Second, third fret of the B string. I can't remember what the hell that chord is called, but I'm sure somebody watching is going to be like, Yo, dude, this is it. You said the wrong thing, and I'm going to be like, cool, thanks, man. Appreciate that. So, those chords are F sharp, D, A. I guess I am playing the A, but you probably you can do the F, too. You know what? I'm leaving it up to you. And then this... I don't know, it's kind of almost like E minor 7-esque, because I think if you play that low E, whatevers. Play it fast and nobody will know. So I'll play through it, and the finger picking is something along these lines, at least for me. I gotta tell you, it's hard to slow shit down sometimes. Um, so, I mean, I'm sorry, like, those are probably not exactly perfect when I slow it down. I feel like I'm definitely losing 
some of the rhythm that I'm trying to do. But, you know, listen, you can hear the notes, but don't try to play it necessarily like that. Put your own little style into it. I'm sure it'll be cool. So, yeah, there's that intro part. It kind of goes back to it, I think, at the end. And there's definitely a couple chords where it changes that I just don't know. It gets all weird because it's piano chords, I think. Then the signature of the song is that da 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 da. Um, John Mayer covered that song beautifully at his funeral. Gives you chills. So um, made me want to learn this song. So I feel like the song, if you're gonna try it, you gotta get. S- you don't have to get it right, but you gotta at least try to add that little riff in. So I've simplified and dumbed it down into this. And so you got your D shape, and you're just pulling off on the second fret F sharp. Except I'm doing it from a D, and I'm playing this bass note. Boom, right over here. See that? Look at that. Then I'm putting my pinky, fourth fret of the D string. I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. So. Fourth fret, open. Third fret, open. To be honest, I don't think it matters. Um, Any variation of those will probably sound okay. As long as you keep that, you got to keep it going. You know what I'm saying? Like. From here. This finger gets to stay there. He's like, sweet, I don't have to move. That's cool. And then we're going back to that chord where I'm doing the B note and the D note. So. Oh, shit. You can keep that open A if you want, but the note changes to here, B string on the second fret. So it went from here to, and you don't really have to play that A, getting that note. I don't know, I guess it sounds cooler with the note, the bass note. So we're at. We almost made it. We're so close. Fourth fret of the G string. Second fret of the G string. And I don't know if I'm playing a bass note with that. I, let's see what happens here. Shit, no, I'm just playing that note. I'm just playing. you can try to figure out a way to add a bass note in with it so you're plucking two strings at one time because we're doing that a lot I- I'm doing <laughs> we're, I'm doing that a lot see how I'm doing like that the whole claw like I'm a lobster claw I don't know what you call that but we're doing that where we're pinching multiple strings at the same time so um, if you figure out a way to I mean, somebody figures out a nice way to play a bass note with those two notes, comment, let me know, that'd be sweet. But for now, let's just use this. Then right back into the Y, Y, oh shit. You get the idea. That's the little riff. Signature of the song. 
I guess, I don't know. I wouldn't even want to play if I wasn't trying to do that. But that's just me. I loved me some Michael Jackson, Michael, yeah, Michael Jackson growing up. So I hope that helps. Uh, I did make a part one. That's the rest of the song. This is my own interpretation of it. I think it's pretty close. I hope that you like it. But, you know, if you're ever in a pinch and somebody wants to play, wants you to play Michael Jackson and you're in, like, a live setting, sneak this one in there. That'd be cool, right? All right. Okay.